All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're making we're making it casual here. We're making a casual YouTube introduction. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Internet. And welcome to a brand new Trackmania campaign. We have the winter 2021 campaign on our plates right now. It's been three months since the fall campaign has been released. And as promised, Nadeo is delivering a brand new campaign for us to play. So here we are with the winter campaign. 25 new tracks. Uh, let's see if they're going to be like new new. But uh, yeah. I didn't want to go to track one. Damn, very nice. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to have 25 tracks. And uh, I'm just going to go back. Let's pretend this didn't happen. Exit. So we have five tracks per category. Nothing has changed in that regard. We have five tracks per difficulty, starting from white, green, blue, red, and black. The track length obviously does get uh, does increase as we progress through the campaign, and we of course also have increased uh, difficulty and some some more crazy things to go through. And now I'm obviously very uh, curious to see how this campaign has been built because the fall campaign has been a remake of the summer campaign, so they took many base maps they took the identity sort of of the maps and just reworked them and made them better and uh, i wonder if this campaign is going to be the same so uh, without letting myself get spoiled by the thumbnails too much we're gonna go to track uno and uh, have a look at this campaign so obviously i'm gonna go for all author times here for all the green medals and it looks like track one is the same we <laughs> once again have the oh bonk we have the left or right fork right at the start that you can pick from and here we go with our journey through the winter campaign we have a looping for the first time in the winter in in, in the track mania campaign bonk or for the first time on track one that is So this one's very interesting. The ending on this one kind of reminds me of Summer 01. And the start is the same like Fall 01 and the mid is new. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. Of course, I'm not going to settle with silver. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, bunny hop. Very nice. So that ending looks to be pro. Why am I doing this again? We are finding the shortcuts here. I don't don't mind my uh, amazing driving. I'm still very excited because I just uh, found out that I won the fall campaign. So I'm obviously full of adrenaline, and I'm very happy. Yeah, you can probably blast through the tree. Okay, maybe not there, but you can definitely blast through the trees one way or another. Oh yeah, gold. I'm such a such a good player. This is why you're watching. Alright, so let's get Oh my god, you gotta be kidding, man. Someone needs to erase that right now. That edge is honestly magnetic. Like <laughs> how often am I supposed to hit it until it goes in my little uh peanut brain? Okay, that was an absolutely fantastic run. And that's the first green medal of the winter campaign. Very nice. So, very simple track. Actually, for a track 1, I find this one kind of hard. Given this is track 1, it has a spicy start. It has this dirt bowl, which is also quite tight. And then the end, where you uh, obviously have the choice to go through the trees or you just uh, try to stay on the dirt. Um, but yeah, I think this is quite a hard one. So, pff, I wonder how the next tracks are gonna go. Because uh, if that's one, then uh, I wonder what track two is gonna be. So track two has been a precision map, and I hit the first wall. Track two has been a precision map in the fall campaign, and also in the summer campaign. Is it gonna be one in... The winter campaign as well. Right now it does look like it. At least somewhat. Oh no. Reactor boost. 
Zoop. 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 Oop. Okay, gold. That was a very easy... That was a very easy... Uh, I forgot what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening anyway. Thanks for coming to my tech talk. So I do have the impression that uh, this one is going to have some weird trick. Something that is going to make you a lot faster. Maybe... I mean, I don't know yet, but... You can probably go on here instead. You take the high ramp and then take it into the lower finish. Or maybe take it into the higher one. Um, time will tell. I like that I missed 69th place. That is very unfortunate. But that's track 2. That was... Uh, th th this would have been a 1. To be honest. But hey. Thank you for the resubs, JR and Muflon. Happy New Year, everyone. It's the 1st of January, so I hope you all had some nice festivities. And now we have track 3. Track 3 has been ice in the last two campaigns. And it is ice again. Oh, the two yep trees again. Okay, wait, first! First try, author. Oh, pfft. what is this? Man, thumbs up, skin tone 100. I actually got first try world record. That obviously says a lot about my capabilities as a racing game driver. Did all that ice practice, all that ice grinding, it did pay off at the end of the day. Absolutely wonderful. This track has actually been spoiled on social media. They have posted a screenshot of this exact corner and it was almost clear that this was going to be track 3. Actually can't get 2 right, 2 is 20. I mean you need to stay straight, that's probably the most important thing on track 2 from what I gathered at least. Okay, track 4. You're straight, you're never high enough then it probably depends on the turn before that you take enough speed from it. Track 4 was actually the track in the fall campaign that made the final decisive difference against Racetile in the uh, in the overall standings. It was a dirt track where it had a bit of dirt and it also had no steer. So now I'm curious whether they maybe kept that. Oh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> they actually kept it. <laughs> That's a sudden one, though. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's way too early. <laughs> what? It's so early. You're not even, like, outside of the corner and you instantly lose your steering. Like, bruh, dude. So you need to drift a lot tighter so you can line yourself up for the dirt. Wow. Yeah, I think this campaign is harder. There's another no steer. Hello? Yeah, okay. This this campaign is already confirmed harder than the previous one. Holy macaroni. They really want people to get salty. I think they want to increase the production of salt. So we have a double no steer section. No steer means that you can't steer. Who would have thought? So your steering gets completely cancelled until you reach the next checkpoint. The only thing you can do is accelerate and brake. Which isn't very helpful most of the time. I, 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 I. Okay. Track 4 should have been track 40. So these tracks have once again built, uh, been built by the community and it's not necessarily obvious but it makes sense that tracks that are built by the community are 
requiring a bit more finesse because they're a bit more creative most of the time and they always incorporate something that you wouldn't necessarily see in a beginner track and I think it's safe to say that the Nadeo tracks are always beginner tracks because the developers themselves aren't very good at the game most of the time and uh, that speaks volumes the tracks are accordingly easier and you don't really see that when the track is actually built by someone from the community which is the case here for the winter campaign as well um, I'm not sure to what extent, I'm not sure if every track is built by the community. Uh, all I know is that the majority is. I gotta like the scenery on this though. Uh, very basic terraforming here, I like it. And with enough speed you can also make it into the slope here. If you survive the no stair section then you're also gonna make it smoothly. So we got the green. And uh, we're gonna go to track 5. Let's see if uh, they're gonna keep the shitty ice platform from the previous fives. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil myself with the free cam, I'm just gonna drive. So we have the typical red boost. Oh, dirt. GG. Oh, yes. The more dirt, the better. Oh, ice. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. I wasn't a fan of Summer 5, and I wasn't a fan of Fall 5. But I gotta say, this one actually makes a better impression. Because it's, be like, it's much better of a mix between the styles. Doot, doot, doot. Well, I got a trophy. I am rich. But yeah, probably a bit more difficult for most people, as handling all the surfaces is a skill to be obtained. Here you gotta make sure that you defreeze your tires early, in order to keep the best possible grip. And a nice and tight line through the grass, minimize the steering, hold a little speed slide towards the exit. And then last ice is probably something like this. Okay, it's probably not something like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, not, not like this. No, I think it's safe to say that is not it. So maybe you just turn without ice slide. Ice slide is a technique that you've probably seen already. It's basically putting the car in a 90 degree position and then kind of pop it like this. Okay, much more speed this time around. So while it is unknown who of the community is actually responsible for the maps, uh, I think they're gonna have tons of fun watching people discover the maps. Okay, that's the green on the first five tracks with a nice little silver trophy. You know, it's not as fancy as the trophy 9 I won from winning fall campaign, but it's it's something. So the first five tracks are done. Overall impression, good quality maps, but hard. I think these are genuinely harder than the previous campaign. So I'm not sure what your first impression is. Of course, the question is how easily obtainable are the are the medals because if the tracks are hard but the medals are easy then it's kind of a you know it balances out but if the tracks are hard and the medals are hard as well then uh, oog then it's an oog oh shit crypt talks with five gifted subscriptions here as we come to track six and track six in the past two campaigns has been a full-on tech map tech being a, a very popular map style in Trackmania, in fact the one that has been the most competitive map style uh, for like a decade pretty much. Basically referring to tarmac corners, very tight tarmac corners that require drifting very often. And it seems like, oh good lord in heaven, it's a dirt loop. That's a first, I'm happy. 
I'm happy. That's the first. So now they have gotten rid of the tech identity. They made it a dirt track. So whoever is responsible for that, thank you very much. And also for the first time in the entirety of the Trackmania 2020 campaigns, there is a dirt loop. So <laughs> I'm kind of scared whether they're going to put the freaking sausage loop in as well. Because <laughs> if yes, then I'm actually going to mold. I like this track. I'm generally a fan of dirt and this one seems to make a very good impression. So we got the green metal here right away. Very simple scenery. Okay, we have some shady back alleys here. Of course, flicker expert Riolo needs to check for all the flickers here on this map. Do we have some flickering? If yes, then we are going to uninstall the game on stream. Let's see, let's see. Do we have any flickering? Any flickering? Any flickers? Any flickers? Nah, looks good. Alright. Track 7. So far, so good. Can you trick pads during the dirt loop? Sir, do you mean no slide in that case? Probably not. Okay, track 7. Track 7 was a sausage block map. And it seems like it is again. And to be honest, ever since I started playing this game, I did get better at sausage blocks and I did start to appreciate them a bit more. On the other hand, I feel like I'm shit on them. <laughs> And obviously, internet logic suggests that if you're bad at something, it's automatically bad in general. Mad cause bad, that's, uh, you know, the thing. No sausage bloop here, uh, uh, sausage, what did I say? I don't know, sausage loop. Whatever. <laughs> okay, pretty good. I mean, this one's all about keeping the flow, maintaining ground contact as much as possible. Stay on the ground, jump low here. Oh, that was nice. Oh, never mind. I think I clipped something. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Hello there, Arizil. Happy New Year. And also Happy New Year to everyone in the chat. Not really reading a lot of chat right now because I'm very excited playing this campaign. But we can definitely discuss it afterwards. This is uh, definitely a Hugo 220 track. Already calling the Hugo world record on this one. This one has his name written. Oh my god. Oh, PB. <laughs> well, you can hit your head. What does that end? Eh? Delete. What do you mean? Did I? Is that like user error or. Or what? Maybe I just jumped too low. Uh, too high, I mean. And I gotta jump lower. I don't know what that is about. Dude, what is this run? World record? Okay. Not even close. It was a good run, though. <laughs> And yeah, it seems like you can just full blast that end, but you need to come from more right, so you get a flatter angle. Okay, track 7. Uh, I found I find this one a bit naked in terms of scenery. I'm not sure if it's intended. Maybe this track is supposed to be, you know, a bit more in the air and there is not much surrounding it. But uh, yeah, I think this one's not terrible. Definitely, definitely a track you can also use uh, to practice your sausage skills. Okay, track 8. You know, track 8 has also been a meme track. Even though they have gotten rid of the staircase meme in the fall campaign. Uh, now let's see, did they change it for 8? Seems like 8 is your regular track. You gotta be kidding. 
Oh no, is it another? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. another one of these jumps where you need to land buttery smooth to get more speed. Oh yes, grass. Okay, I uh, do advocate for this grass corner. We have the toilets again. <laughs> the grass donuts. They are back. They are tighter though than before. At least that's the feeling I got here. And then you bop it. Gold medal. Yeah, right. I mean, considering that I didn't make that jump, I think... I can be happy by getting away with gold here. This one's definitely going to be an interesting time attack track. That is for sure. Oh, put up, put up, put up, put up. The no slide. So yeah, 8 has now uh, lost the staircase meme. Now it's the toilet map. Or the donut map. You can uh, call it whatever you want. And that's the green. So, as expected, the new campaign is going by the same kind of structure. They're probably going to bring in a few new ideas as well, as you saw on track 6, for example, and also track 5 used to be different. Um, they are bringing in new identities and new track styles, but sometimes, you know, it's still the same thing. So the previous track, uh, Fall 8, looked like an 8 from above. But this one actually doesn't. This one looks like nothing. Very interesting. I mean, you, could, you can insert a coin here. That's something. Alright. How do you bring up the world record times on the left in-game? You need the paid version of Trackmania. Alternatively, you can also make that work with the free version, I think by going to the top of your screen, hit the cogwheel, go to interface and tick the box for always display records. Then it should work. However, note that you can only race ghosts with club edition. Track 9. Yes, track 9. Was dirt in both previous campaigns and looks to be dirt again. So that's the automatic plus plus already at this point. Even though 9 has always been a bit more of a gimmicky dirt track, it wasn't like a super flat map. Had lots of elevation changes, lots of transitions. A bit like 23, but in light mode. And I'm genuinely curious to see how many hours into the campaign's release are we gonna have the first shortcut. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one's very, very technical. This is such a difficult map, actually. So, uh, people not that experienced with dirt, I think uh, one tip I can give you is to avoid the jump. Try to jump as little as possible. <laughs> but this one is not easy. The first impression, this seems to be a track where you need to find the correct lines. You need to put some hours into this one in order to see what the optimal lines are. It's not a track that you can go that you can go through just like that. Like the elevations are very steep. This track kind of teaches you how to not jump on them, or well, it's, you can use it to learn things like these. And then we got the reactor boost down, 47, 35, and that's the green as well. I think this one's gonna be cool, like for people who actually know how to play dirt, because this one has a plethora of dirt techniques, like no sliding, gear uh, manipulation, speed sliding, maintaining grip, cutting over the penalty sand, blah blah blah, you know, 
all these things. So very technical track here, I have to say. Surprised to see this as a nine. Um, but it speaks for the difficulty of the campaign, I suppose. So far, not an easy campaign. Track 10. Oh, we have an overview camera for once. That's cool. We have track 10. The last track in the green flag. And Summer 10 has been a track with tarmac corners, with dirt corners, and with ice. So it, has, it, it was a mix of both. And Fall was similar. Now let's see. Is this one going to be another one of these? We're starting on dirt. I like. Oh, that is going to be a crooked gear with the speed slides. I can already call that. Oh yes, ice. Give me that shit. You know, this the, the saying, oh yes, give me the ice, you wouldn't hear that from Riolu uh, three months ago. I'm a changed man. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Very cool. <laughs> oh shit. I was like, fuck, I'm dead. Yes, I'm alive. Fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> yes, I'm alive. Okay, so this is the very same type of jump from Summer 10. So we have an idea that's actually being reused. It's kind of cute to see some of the ideas return, you know? That way... You get, you get the PTSD flashbacks. Oh yeah, oh monsieur. Okay, we're definitely gonna make this one here. Hop. Stay in the middle. And then yeet. Man, this is like RTL Skispring. Who is gonna jump the farthest? Is it gonna be uh, Sven Hallerwald or, <laughs> or Ralf Schumacher? <laughs> Oh, uh, we don't know yet. Damn. That's a cool track, actually. That is a very cool track. And it even has an outro camera. I mean, that's something to embrace. I like this one. Track Mania ski jumping here, ladies and gentlemen. On track 10. Someone mentioned it in the chat. I think it was Chris. Uh, the scenery is really good on these tracks. Very, very good scenery. So whoever is responsible for the scenery, uh, that is some very good work. Because so far the scenery hasn't been like bad for the most part. It has always been guiding the player. It hasn't been intrusive with the player's view and stuff. So that's very nice. And then we have this big jump. Like it's a huge area here. Almost like you're jumping into some type of uh, hole. And then you yeet into the finish. Very cool uh, track concepts here. Man, already track 10? Damn, dude. So now we're in the next uh, difficulty. Difficulty, blue. We all know blue as a difficulty. It's not a color, it's actually difficulty. So when you want to say something is difficult, you say, man, this is blue. Yeah. So we have uh, track 11 which was a full speed track in both previous campaigns. And my antennas, they tell me, hmm, yeah, that's, that's a full speed map again. Boink. That is one fantastic start. Whoever built this must be a very good map builder. Okay, so, uh, kind of a copied start, oh, what the fuck, kind of a copied start from Summer 11. Bro, why do you bounce like this? Why, why is every start on 11 bouncy? Can we not? <laughs> oh my god, why is Riolu so bad? Can we not? 
Okay, no. Rip cam one players? I think rip everyone. <laughs> it's not really a blessing with cam two either. Oh god, that's a lot of grass, mate. Slow motion. Can I make this? <gasps> okay, I'm actually digging this track. Not because it's full speed, but because it actually has so many different surfaces that are not road. I like this. Because the weird thing about me... You know, there are speed slides, right? In uh, Trackmania. And while they work in a similar way, I find myself be a lot more confident with speed slides that are not on road but rather with speed slides on dirt or grass and the previous iterations of 11 have mostly been on uh, tarmac but now this one's actually incorporating some other styles so maybe for once I'm gonna be competitive on 11 as well because in the past two uh, versions of 11 I've never been super competitive because I'm only semi-decent on tarmac speed slides so this is a bit of a faster map here. Um, I think this one is mostly manageable. It, it, you have enough room. And you have the speed check in the ending. And four different finish lines to pick from as well. Plenty of choice. Very nice. And who knows, maybe there's going to be some uh, cuts or tricks as well. Okay, track 12. We have Reactor Boost Down. Reactor Boost Down. <gasps> wow, I got so confused by the turn all of a sudden. I was like, yup. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't hit the trees. Okay, okay, okay. I have exactly the speed to not make the jumps, uh, that's very appreciated. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Can I even make that? Oh. Okay. Whoa, bronze. Very nice. So that was a little bit of a messy run. I think I can do better than that. Make sure to stay tuned. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, fuck. Okay. Now we gotta do that again. Very interesting uh, track though, I have to say. And as opposed to the previous uh, iterations of 12, this one is not in sunset mood. This is in day mood. Hello, you can overjump the... <laughs> Very nice. You can severely overjump that. Hmm, probably intended. They don't want players to full blast everything. That's too boring, right? I mean, it's okay, we're playing a racing game, and this car has brakes, so we gotta use them. I'm a player, I can use my brakes. Even though sometimes I don't want to. Sometimes I refuse. Okay, uh... We are not gonna talk about this. That was, you know, I almost saw it coming, but I was like, I'm gonna try my luck. Okay, this track is weird. But I do kind of like the ideas. So no nothing happened. I don't know. I don't know what you're laughing about in the Twitch chat. I have no idea, actually. Yeet. Gonna take away a bit of... I'm just gonna shut up. 
I was about to say, I'm gonna take away a bit of speed in the air. <laughs> yeah, my ass. I'm gonna take away absolutely nothing. That's better. Oh, I almost hit my head. That was almost a case of aspirin plus C. But we good. And this time I'm gonna hit it. Nice. Hey, right. Track 12. There you go. So this one's a bit more on the technical side. As you need to be able to drift, you need to be able to keep sufficient speed in uh, several sections. For example, here, you can only make this jump into the slope when you drift out wide enough and drift, you know, just a sufficient amount. If not, you go left. But then by going left, you will jump here instead. So that's not good. Uh, here you need to lift. Here, you probably also want to lift to take the entire downhill. This is pretty straightforward, small speed slide in the dirt. And then bop it, snack it in the end. Probably left finish, not right finish. So you can drive a flatter line. I like how I analyzed this track for no reason. We have a Maxi with a two year anniversary. Well, that's a great time to actually subscribe. Thank you, Maxi, for two years. Hope, uh... You had a great start into 2021. And Dirty Duck with the second month as well. Twitch Prime, Happy New Year to you as well. And now we're coming onto track 13, which also went through mood change. One might say these tracks are moody. Um, so 13 has been a terrible track in fall. I actually didn't like 13. It was one of the worst tracks, in my opinion. And this one might take the cake. Very nice. What was that? Oh boy. That is one very interesting jump. Uh, ah, yeah. That is not working as intended. Okay. <laughs> Look at my ghost just yeet into the oblivion. Yeah, I didn't like 13. Because um, even though it was ice, it was bad. Like, badly built. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, shit, Maxi. Get well soon. So this is this is not an easy one, man. So you need to slow down in order to stay in the game. Oh. <laughs> man, 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 man. This one's gonna take a few attempts. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I said a few attempts. I didn't say one attempt. Okay. Slow down. And die once again. Slowing down. What is this? Formula 1? <laughs> what do you mean racing game with brakes? Eh? Yeah, gotta release more. That's one simple trick to fix that. That was unintendedly well driven. Okay hand. That was very cool. I gotta say. <laughs> that was a cool ice slide. The thing about ice slides is that they can be very badly calculated in terms of gears. This one, at least right now, makes the impression that it's actually nice. And we have Joran Witte with the world record right now. 
Joran Witze, ey. In front of Tiger, Shark and Gwen. Ja, yeah. I mean, he knows what's up. Very nice. In this light, it almost doesn't look like ice. Damn, dude. Gotta, gotta like the reflections here, though, on the ground. Unreal Engine who? Okay. So, track 14, ladies and gentlemen. Summer 14 had a humongous shortcut. And if I say humongous, I say huge. And then, Fall 14 had two shortcuts. Yeah? No, well, in fact, technically, Summer had two as well. Never mind. So this track... It better not be a fucking meme track again. If this one has a shortcut again, I will breathe. You heard it here first. Okay, so the first jump... I can already see some reactor boost shenanigans to just go to checkpoint 1 immediately. I already see it coming. And we are in slow motion part, and now we're into some grass. Down with some red booster. Okay, that was cool. Dude, there has to be something. I don't know what it is. Even though maybe not. I mean, what could you possibly hit? To yeet, like, somewhere. There is nothing to hit. You could maybe hit the wall. But that's probably only going to push your car downwards and not push it in a way that the reactor faces upwards. Because that's what you need. In order to yeet up, you need to put your car upside down, basically. I don't think this is cuttable yet. But who knows? Who knows? I mean, I don't really want to make some bold statements here. Oh, whoops. Because... I'm going to make that bold statement. And 0 0.2 nanoseconds later, someone's going to be like, Hello, Riolu, I cut this track. Oh. So who knows? Make it react up with the trick. Uh, that does not seem to function. For some reason. That doesn't doesn't work. But maybe some type of slow-mo skip. Or something else. I don't trust this track, man. You should never trust track 14 anymore. <laughs> uh, even though, how would you skip the slow-mo? There's only barriers. You can see they tried to make this cut proof. They seriously tried. But it, is, it isn't gonna work anyway, man. People will find something eventually. Okay, track 14. Doesn't seem that bad of a track. But I don't trust this, man. <laughs> I don't trust this. Come back in a week to find out how track 14 got destroyed. Anyway, pleasantly surprising track 14 here. Next! 15. Oh no. Not again, sausage block tech. Oi. Oof. Oi. oi oh. Mm, oh. <clears throat> Someone totally needs to make a soundboard for my sounds, man. Okay, just can jump there. Where's Hugo? Hugo is probably waiting. So all 15 so far have been uh, very prominent in their uses, in their usage of pillars in chicanes and sausage blocks. This one portrays no difference. Oh boy, a humongous looping. Hey. 
Yeah, that is one very difficult map. Ah. Okay, and once again, <laughs> this type of ending. Very nice. Yeah, okay, Silver, you could have given me something better as well. Hey, Riolo, you spoiled brat. Fuck off. Bonk. Quite a long map, yeah. In fact, one of the longest campaign tracks so far. Rarely any track actually uh, exceeded the... 50 second barrier in the campaign so far. Oof. Okay, jump to the left now. Hmm, very smooth landing. I like that. Nom. Some real nom in chat. Bit of a time loss here for Riolo TM. What is he gonna do about it? Is he just gonna cope with it? And this is gold. Okay. That is. Oh, Hugo! I found him! Hugo detected. Beep, 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 beep. Rank 21 right now. Beep, 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 beep. I got him. <laughs> yeah, Pingu, I think. Gold on this one? It's gonna require a bit of backseating. This is probably the hardest uh, author time so far. Wonder what it is in first place. I could check, but I'm gonna keep it a surprise. Like a kinder surprise egg. Even though no. They're banned. Never mind. And hop. Gotta love how I'm on par with the ghost that didn't skip the engine off. Okay, we're uh, taking the loop, we're going to the left, which is tightening, this time I'm actually going to remember. Very nice head. I mean, this one flows nicely when you hit the lines, but yeah, hit the lines first. Bonk! And that's the green. 57.90. So this one is full sausage, full of pillars, and it's night mode. And it has a lot of lot of uh, holes in the in the wood. I'm not sure if this wood has maybe been bitten by worms. We have to find that out. Oh, I drove the same time like spam. Yay. You might assume that we're the same person. Damn, damn, damn. Mr. Manny, thank you for the six-month resub. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome to 2021. And uh, we're going to go to the next category. Track 16. A track I miserably failed at in the fall campaign to get the world record on. I did like it in fall, as it had a lot of grass. And... Uh, Judging by the thumbnail, this one might have a good chunk of grass as well. So let's actually see what we have here. Hop. And I landed on the wall. Very nice. Yo! Oh my, hello! I'm Spider-Man. Ah, I'm not. Okay. Presumably, you don't want to jump there. But ask me again later. Bruh. My poor head. Where do you go, man? Ah, there. 
Yeah, this one's a neck breaker. Oh. Oh, 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 that's, that's tight. That's probably a cut through the sand. Did I bring my climbing gear? I didn't. I didn't know I had to climb. Oh, shit. Where do I go? Ah! Oh. I missed by a hair. That was like a meter. I missed by a meter. So close. Okay. Yeah, I can see some weird shit happen with the boosts here, with the reactor stuff. Someone's gonna fly to Mars, probably. Oh. That was a rough landing. Those feet are gonna hurt for the next five days. And we're cutting. And with the cut... Ah, look. It makes sense. The cut is probably somewhat intended. Then you go all the way to the left. Cool. And that's the green. I had to aim into the blue. Like, I didn't see anything. <laughs> I almost yep-treated, yeah. I almost, almost yep-treated. This tree is gonna ruin lives, I can tell you already. Same for this one. So you better get out your chainsaws already. It's unfortunate that there's absolutely no visual cue on this map except for the hittable tree. Um, kinda empty, like where, where did the scenery go here? It's like here, scenery is like full blast and here... Eh. Hmm, oh well. Interesting. So this is somewhat similar to 16, but not really. Like, fall 16, that is. Yeah, I don't know. 17. Let's take a good gander at this one. Congrats on first in the fall campaign. Thank you very much. 17. In the fall campaign, 17 had a... Quarter pipe and a bug slide shortcut. It was one of the least played or least competitive fall campaign tracks. Really? Okay, I tried to save it, but that didn't quite work out. But yeah, 17 has been severely underplayed in fall. In summer, 17 also had a fat shortcut. So far, the number 17 has been a bit of a mess in the campaigns. Very sad. Holy ballsack, what is this? Like, full blast ESWC electronic sports world cup uh, mania tech. Holy moly. This is one very technical map. Gold. It's gold? Crazy. That is actually... A track... You, you can't take a break on this. I wonder who's behind this track. This one can't be a community map. There is no way. This is probably a freaking Hylus map or something. <laughs> this can't be built by a community member. No one builds like this. Maybe maybe D Derek. Is D Derek in the building team? Ay ay ay. This one really gives me the flashbacks of Summer 17. Gives me the impression uh, of an alpha map. And there is a lack of checkpoint. Oh, I improved by a tenth and I got the green. There is a severe lack of checkpoints, I feel like. This track looks like spaghetti. Okay, I don't know if this looks like spaghetti. 
Hey, Riola, what kind of spaghetti are you eating, huh? Okay, okay. So, for example, here. Look, you can probably... I don't know if you can cut this, but there's no checkpoint from here to here. Like, you just fucking yeet. You have many checkpoints that are kinda close to each other, you know? Th there has to be a reroute. I'm not gonna find one. But I'm, I'm gonna give you a 90.754% uh, certainty there will be a shortcut here. Because there are so many checkpoints close to each other. There's gonna be some type of reroute. I can tell you already. Holy ball sack screams to no one. We didn't find any penguins, but congrats on Dude. this place. What is that? 50 euro. Hey, unbelievable. <laughs> that is that is a lot of money, man. So yeah, uh, have fun. Rerouting this one. Stream Snow One. Man, man, man. 50 euro. That is a heavy donation, man. That is so much money. Thank you very much for the support. That is that is very mad. Awesome. Okay, 18. I see dirt, I press like. I'm a simple man. And 18 had one absolutely ridiculous. Oh, dirt loop. Uh, Fall 18 had one ridiculous reactor boost, speed boost, like zoop type of thingy. I hope this one doesn't. Yeet. Oi, 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 this is fa uh, 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 fast. <laughs> okay, I gotta go higher. Gotta go up here. <laughs> uh, I can explain. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, help, ADAT? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, that transition. It's so smooth with the reactor boost. Oh, look, I got 69th. Can I get one nice in the chat? I finally did it, man. This playthrough needed a 69th place. Because it's the funny internet number. We got it. Haha. -ha. Comedy Central. Yeah, I'm digging this one. This one does have a very technical touch to it as well. It's not an easy dirt track to navigate through. You have lots of, like, small transitions. Yeet. And uh, this time around, I'll make sure to not make the same mistake again. So you pop a good 800,000 kilometers an hour here. And that's the green. Cool. I'm surprised seeing uh, 18 like this. I like. Definitely a fun track to play. And doesn't seem to be scuffed with the reactor boost either. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 19. I hope for some ice. Oh, dirt. Cool. Nineteen in the fall campaign is gonna give me PTSD for the next five years. Cause I fought so hard, I played that track for like 30 hours to get the world record on. At the end of the season I did not get it. Very sad real noises. And had two sausage block no, one sausage block Neo and one <sighs> one uh, hairpin on normal road. Now we have two hairpins, but on dirt. So the hairpin identity somewhat stayed here in uh, in this version of the track.
You rather want to go up high in the banking to keep more speed. Is there a COTD today? Yep. Oh, bonk. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Ah, uh, maybe I'm not gonna keep going. The first straight is kinda boring. Like, there's six seconds of doing nothing. <laughs> and I crash again. <laughs> Real? Stop this, man! Okay. This is it. I'm definitely gonna finish this run, no matter what happens. Pop. Very nice. Chuck to the left, chuck to the right, drifted tight. This was ice, yeah. Exit the ice straight. Turn to the right. Okay, spicy dirt section. Warning, spicy. Okay. Zigzagoon. And to the right. And that's a wall bang. Mmm. Let's add acceleration penalty to avoid wall bangs. Track 19, intended wall bang. Actually. Actually ridiculous. This. You can't tell me this wall bang is not intended. Right there. Unbelievable. But yeah, kind of, kind, of, kind of a cool track here. Not easy. But I think this one's gonna put up for some nice racing here as well. And yeah, you're right, Ramos. Many tracks over 50 seconds. The campaign is longer and harder. So... Smiley face if you're a beginner and you are looking forward to playing this. Track 20. I see ice. Lots of ice. Or, well, I see snow rather than I, uh, ice, but a. Hey. I'm scared. Okay, I'm not. Very smooth. Yup, so far so good. Oh, this reminds me so much of summer... Eh, I don't know which number. Was it also 20? Oh, good lord. This one's gonna be all about ice angles and how you exit the ice. I, 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 oh, good lord. No steer ending. Okay, so this is uh, very similar to this one summer track. I did forgot. I did forget its number. Uh, I do remember that I think Hefest or Racetal had the record at the end of the season in summer. But uh, man, this track is very rough on the edges. Not my personal favorite here. It's not that much ice or snow for a winter campaign. Thoughts on this? Uh, well, obviously, as every other campaign hasn't been focusing on the season it represents, a campaign always has to be balanced. I would be very upset if they put more ice or more snow just because it's winter. A campaign has to be balanced, no... Like, one way or another, you know? And especially ice, because it's the hardest surface to master in this game, and... Probably the one that's being, quote-unquote, hated the most uh, from uh, Trickmania players, especially the new new newcomers, you know? So it will be very, bene like, not beneficial to put lots of ice or lots of snow in a winter campaign. A good balance is what it needs, you know? There's this one saying by someone famous, I forgot how it goes. But it's something about balance. 
Like, hear me up. Hear, hear, hear me out, man. I forgot the quote, but... <laughs> hey. Well, this one's very technical. Lots of drifteroni going on. Why am I going for another attempt? I'm addicted already. That is an excellent quote. Thanks, man. I tried very hard. Bonk. It was probably DJ Khaled. Say my name. Yeet. Okay, so I improved this time for no apparent reason and we're gonna go to the last set of five tracks. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the Black Flag, the tracks that are the hardest and probably also the longest in the winter 2021 campaign. That is going to be exciting. I am looking forward to the last five tracks here. Let's take a good look at them. And 21 did have a fat shortcut in fall. Lots of sausage block action as well. Looks like that isn't uh, going anywhere. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this already looks like a track I would rather want to have cut. That is a lot of pillars, yeah. Dude, I'm gaming. You know, one thing that I find very interesting is how the campaign developed throughout the lifespan of this game. The, tr the, the campaign started off with rather simple ma- oh fuck, where do you go? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Right or left? Light, left, da uh, uh. I didn't know. Bro, there's no, like, space? Where do you go? That bump is too hard, man. Oh, still bronze. Well, I take it. But yeah, to uh, complete my sentence, the campaign really developed together with the game, obviously. The game has been released in July 2020, and obviously everything was new to everyone. So the possibilities and everything had to be discovered first. The people had to learn how to play the game. Even though it was deriving from a known environment, from Stadium, from Trackmania to Stadium. Uh, the physics were known, at least for the basics, like road, dirt, grass, whatever. But uh, many things were new. And people obviously had to figure out what works, what doesn't, what's good, what's bad, what's popular, what isn't. And uh, as time progresses also, campaigns like these are going to progress and... Like, in a year from now, we're also going to look back to this campaign and be like, Yo, uh, holy shit, man, remember when the tracks were like this, lol? But I would say the tracks have made a nice development, and track quality did improve. At least from a Trackmania veteran, elitist type of perspective. I can't really tell how this campaign is really going to uh, handle for beginners, because I do believe that... The difficulty has increased. Not sure if that was really a necessary step to take, but the campaign has gone harder and I think the metal times are also rather crunchy this time around. So yeah, definitely something of interest. And now let's get that green. I think it is safe to say that these tracks are extremely challenging. Maybe a bit too challenging after all. I don't know about that yet. So uh, feel free to tell me what you think about the campaign. Oops. I mean obviously now that you're in the Black series you can't expect easy tracks. But hell, just look at one. 
Just look at track 1, that was already harder than I thought it would be. And that's coming from a standpoint from someone who's been playing Trackmania for 13 years almost. So that's definitely something to keep an eye out on. I think the difficulty shouldn't spike too hard, because then on the other hand, you will scare away new players. As sad as it sounds, but beginners very often don't like being challenged very much. They want to have an easygoing experience through the campaign. Something I can understand. On the other hand, it does not go along with the mindset of Trackmania, which is easy to learn and hard to master. Okay, let me uh, just quickly hit this finish one way or another. I'm just gonna break. Or hit the pillar. Hard one. So yeah, Trackmania obviously isn't uh, the game you can just play like that and you get all the aids you know from the game itself but you have to learn the game yourself the game isn't going to give you any any help any driving aids or anything you just drive so that's obviously something that is i think the reason why trackmania isn't where it should be because it's a grinder it's a grinding game the campaign fits the trackmania spirit yep for sure Dr. Rock, thank you for the eight months of Twitch Prime gaming action, by the way. And we're now coming to track 22, which was absolutely atrocious in fall. It was objectively an okay map, but for time attack it was horrendous. Due to one seemingly RNG uh, speed boost. And now it seems like we're returning to the full speed identity that we've had in summer. So uh, track 22 in this campaign, a fully fledged OG, incredible HD top gaming full speed track. So I think I know who is going to hold the record on this track after the campaign. It's not going to be me. Oh, first try green. Very nice. So we have a, a full speed track. This one doesn't even seem that bad. I'm gonna give it another whirl. This one seems decent. And I guess lucky for me that it doesn't have that many uh, speed slide sections. Because as I said earlier, I do I think I'm a lot weaker on tarmac speed slides as opposed to dirt or grass speed slides. So this one seems neat. Probably going to be quite exciting to watch as well for beginners as you know you have these classic Trekmania elements that ma make Trekmania special. Loopings, wall rides, high speed. Those things that make Trekmania, you know, unique in some way. Are you following the Deep Fear World Record attempts by Mada? No. I am not. How did you know where the checkpoint is since you hadn't seen it in the loop? Uh, intuition. I would say. <laughs> Many full speed maps like this, like this is a typical full speed map in Trekmania, it, they, they go by a pattern. And certain elements they can't really be built another way, so very often when you do pathfinding like I do now, or you don't know the tracks beforehand, um, you can kinda guess where things are. Because you know they can't really be anywhere else. <laughs> just uh, game sense, I suppose. Okay. We're gonna go to the next one. 23. I'm very excited for 23. Because uh, I did actually hold the record on both Summer and Fall 23, so I could make it the triple. 
but they better make it a dirt track because uh, 23 has been a dirt track in both previous seasons and now it better be another one. Yep, that looks good. Nom. Oh, and the first checkpoint is a point sixty-nine. I wonder if that's intended or not. <laughs> but that is very funny. Peak comedy. So, one GG in the chat. GG Riolo. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> I release for no reason. <laughs> Rip. Thought you had to go elsewhere. Ow. Pretty long track as well. Yeah, world record 102 right now. Obviously, it's gonna go down to like 101 or something later on. Oh, reactor boost down. Okay, a bit of a spicy ending to the end of the track. Not bad. And we got silver right away. Ah, no, it's 68. 68 checkpoint. At least when you're steering a bit. Then it's 69. Okay. Bonk. Yeah, that bump is a bit unnecessary. Riolo, if you were to make your perfect map, what would it look like? It's called Box to Box. You can play it on Trek Main Exchange. I have already made the perfect map. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Is that gold? Yes. We got the gold. And now we're going for the green. Because that's the, the medal for cool people. Yeah, this one's this one's nice. At least the first impression is good. Obviously, the quality of a track kind of gets filtered out the more it gets played. Because the harder you actually push a track, the more flaws you usually f end up finding on the tracks. So in a month or so, when the times are properly hunted a little bit, then I think we're gonna see whether a track is actually good after all, or not. Ah, that was a bit close here. But this should definitely be the green. If not, then I am gonna eat a hat. Okay, there we go. That's the green on 23. And yeah, the track looks pretty cool from above. You can go that this track, you can see this track is going places. It's going up and down and twisty. It's a bit like the extended version of track 9. And once again, flashbacks to track 9, which was actually a lot more technical than I thought. Your guess on whether sub one minute will be done? No, unless a shortcut is found, but... You definitely can't get even remotely close to subbing one minute on this track. Are the TMGL maps public? Tomorrow. They're gonna be public. I will uh, play them as well. I kinda like this one. This building. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. It looks a bit like a cake. Looks like a green cake with marzipan. Okay, two tracks left, ladies and gentlemen. I am hyped for the last two ones here. Track 24 is uh, coming up. 
It was a full-on grass map last time. Oh, it's a smiley. <laughs> kind of. Can we get one smiley face in the chat? Look, it's cute. So they've had similar like holes and forms and geometries in the wall of 24 on the outside. Wait, that's wrong. Very confusing. Should have maybe blocked it off. Oh, we're doing it again. Yeah, cute smiley faces on 24. Why are there no endurance map? Four question marks. Oh man. Uh, well, the reason is that I assume. The endurance map aren't very popular among players, therefore they decided to just get rid of them. Mostly people just get salty about endurance map, about la lapse tracks, so they just decided, nope, we don't have that. Is it me or is this track really hard to actually navigate? Like there is so little lighting here. And where do you go? Okay, do you go up? Oh yeah, I saw it. I do R have the blinds. There. Yeah, this track has serious visibility issues. But hey, it's a it's a late map in the campaign. So you better bring your flashlights. For those who are coming in asking how the campaign is, I would say it's nice, but hard. Uh, as you can clearly see. Yeet yeet, yeet yeet, okay. 149. I didn't even get a medal, I just got paper. I got paper medal. Very nice. I'm sad they got rid of the cool grass style they had on Fall 24. Now it's a bit of a... Yeah, not RPG, but it's definitely a bit more rough of a map. Lots of jumps. But it's a cool concept either way. And... Hop! Participation medal. Yeah, exactly. Like, what are these transitions here? Does that work smoothly, even? <laughs> ah, yeah, left. And... At least they put an arrow over the above the finish line so you can see where the where the hell to go. <laughs> All right. Definitely not an easy map to pick up. And only the silver medal. I guess that's proof that we've been doing things wrong so far. Like Severely. Oh shit. That's an almost three second gain. Right there. Gotta put up your monitor brightness for this one. <laughs> Damn. So I think the the lines people are going to take for time attack, they're going to vary a lot. 
I feel like with a track like this, there will always be different types of lines that you can take. Which makes it interesting, on uh, the other hand. Bit of wiggling here to get some extra velocity. Minus three seconds. Yeet. Yeah, yeet my ass. Yeet right into the checkpoint support pillar. Very nice. But yeah, lines will, will vary a lot. Everyone's gonna feel like a different line is gonna be faster. Okay. Whoa. That gear. Very, very challenging map, but I like it. You gotta give it a chance though. This is probably full no slide. So, rip keyboard players. And I think I'm driving that wrong. I'm not quite sure though. Minus five seconds. Yeah, I'm sure there are things that I missed. I mean, I'm like six seconds behind the fastest time. <clears throat> so obviously, Obviously, I am missing some things, but at least I got the green. What a track. I like how the signs are attached to the track. There's like a big ceiling attached to the side. And the sign is hanging off it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're, that's definitely a possibility. Lots of mini shortcuts that you can take on this track. Maybe some type of direct jump here to the checkpoint. Um, maybe a direct jump here. Go to the left and then directly jump to the right. Maybe in between the pillar with a right twist or something. Wait, there's more smiley faces. <laughs> Colin O in the chat. Well, now we gotta find some more flat. Oh, that's the cute one. Here, that's the cute one. They posted this on Twitter. That's the cute one. Colin O and Colin D. Oh, this one's coming from Chernobyl. It has three eyes. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Feels a bit like a forest you're driving through. It's night and it's a forest and you're just going through all those uh, very difficult sections. Kind of a spooky dark atmosphere to this one. So this one's going to be interesting to uh, watch being developed over the course of the next three months. Obviously this campaign is now going to be valid. Uh, until quick math, 1st of April. And uh, then we're gonna go to spring 2021. Last track, ladies and gentlemen, we're already there. The last track of the campaign, winter 2021. And this track is 1 minute and 30 seconds. Oh shit. The final track of the game. The end boss. The final boss. So, uh, last 25, I think, was built by Hylis, the CEO of Nadeo. This one, I don't know. Maybe. But it looks like this one is kind of incorporating all the parts that the previous tracks contained. You had the dirt loop, you had the uh, reactor boost, you had a couple ice sections, you had... have a bit of everything. So it does make sense to have a track like this at the end. A track that tests everything you learned before. Oh, you can probably do some cool... Uh, 
Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Which mastermind thought of this? You can do the dirt slide. With icy tires. It's not a bug slide. It's actually the, the dirt slide. Yo. Yeah, that's not a high list map. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> okay, where do you go? Uh, style points. Bonk points. Uh, am I supposed to roll for so long without engine? I guess so. And we have an upside down section as well. And we have a... Uh, yup. <laughs> We have uh, a cheeseburger. Oh, the last jump. Yeet. Oh. Medium level for me. And that's the bronze. Okay, what a track. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised by this track, though. It's not as repetitive. It's not as boring as the other 25s. This one has a bit of everything. Only 30 seconds behind. Yeah, I'm good, man. You came here for gaming, and you get gaming. I mean... You get what you pay for. Pretty cool. So I gotta say, I like this one. Feels a little bit like a Trackmania Grand League map. To, to some weird extent, it does feel like a Grand League map. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, perhaps we're even gonna have some shortcuts here. On a track of this length. The amount of checkpoints doesn't seem unreasonably little. I feel like this part can be cut somehow. The engine off section. Because if you cut that, then you're going to gain seconds. Due to the fact that you can just go and accelerate. Okay, is that going to be top layer now? Yeah! Trackmania! <laughs> Very unfortunate. Come on, give me metal. Yes! Silver. Very nice. Okay, next run it is. Now I know the track well enough. Wait, so there is shortcuts already. 17? Ah, I told you 17 is gonna be cut. <laughs> and this one as well, okay. Then we gotta check that out. Yeah, I told you 17 is gonna be cut, man. That map... It looked so inviting, like it basically said, Hey, cut me! I wonder where it is. But well, we will find out soon, after I get the green medal in this run. 17 is spaghetti. Yeah, it's the spaghetti track. So, people took the fork and knife and cut the spaghetti, so it's edible better. Will you show your world records you got in fall? I will, yes. Be patient. First, let me get the green, because this is definitely the run. Yep. Okay, now to the right, if I recall correctly. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now like this. Yep. Small drift. Yup. Yeah, I'm gonna take it safe. I'm just gonna release. Because I feel like I, again, don't have the speed to make it up. 139. Gold! Re 
Riolu, what the fuck, man? You said you're gonna get the green. <laughs> I probably threw it in the end. But yeah, when a run like this is not enough for the author time, you know the author times are hard. Oh boy. Streamer heart stuck on the final track. Watch live. Hello, Ansgar. Welcome. That's a bit high. Okay, and now the last time I want to do this bug slide. Bug slide. Dirt slide. Does it even have a name? I feel like it hasn't really been uh, baptized in Trickmania vocabulary. 136 is author time. What? Where am I supposed to gain 3 seconds? Maybe in the end. Okay. Pop it. Yeah, this is this should be enough. 131, 32. Ah, you can hit the top. Oh my god. Too fast, too furious. Track Mania. Ah, yo, you can be too fast for this as well now. <laughs> Shit. It's the TMGL USB stick. Yeah, exactly. Freaking control tower. Good map, by the way. Okay, this run it is then, ladies and gentlemen. I am obviously stalling for content. So I can get past the 10 minute mark for YouTube. Oh wait, we're already at almost two hours. Yeah, more like one and a half. Spam finish the campaign now. Yeah, I'm gonna follow his footsteps. I will finish as well in this attempt. Watch me. I emoji. Very nice. Yep. Gaming. So far, so good. My lines are top tier. Hop. Ooh, and the grass touch. Lawnmower Lawrence is back at it. He returns for a new season of Trackmania. Okay. I don't know how much speed I need. I will just adjust as I go. Okay, there you go. 134, triple eight, and that is it for the winter campaign. All the green medals in the backpack. Told you I was gonna finish it. And that's it, GG. Very, very interesting campaign, I gotta say. Definitely and undoubtedly the hardest one so far in uh, Trackmania. Not overall in the entirety of the Trackmania franchise. I do believe Trackmania Turbo is still a harder campaign, but uh, this is the hardest one in Trackmania 2020. And it's weird to say Trackmania 2020 when we're now in, Trek in, in 2021. But yeah, that is one hell of a challenging track. Some very challenging tracks in the campaign. Of course, some of them are a bit easier but I think overall the hard maps outweigh the easier ones uh, in terms of quantity. General quality, as I said, the tracks are well built. Scenery is mostly on point as well. So uh, definitely some big shout outs to everyone who was actually involved in this campaign from the community. Uh, my opinion may be a bit too hard. Let's see what all beginner players are going to say about this. Um, but yeah, I think these tracks are going to be providing us some very nice battles in the next three months in terms of time attack 
And of course, I'm also going to try to uh, compete on these tracks. There's definitely, I can see some tracks that I definitely won't be able to compete on, but some other ones that I think are going to suit me quite well. So uh, yeah, that's it for the winter campaign. Once again, all the green medals here for you to look at. 28th in the campaign, 57,000 points, absolutely mesmerizing content. And uh, that is Winter 2021. Hope you enjoy playing this one as well, once you get to it. I certainly had fun. And uh, yeah, I think in some ways it is, an, it is a step up towards fall. In other aspects, maybe not as much. I feel like I would have wished for maybe a bit more ice. Um, but yeah, what can you do? I think it's it's still a good mixture overall. So yeah, that's it. GG for the winter 2021 campaign.